to the channel Ready Study. In this channel, you will get some innovative videos of maths and science based on CBSA curriculum. Please go through these videos, share among your friends, subscribe the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. Welcome to the new session. I hope you all are enjoying this vacation with your parents. Be inside and be safe. Today we are going to start with lesson number one in science that is the nutrition in plants. As we all know that food is essential for all living beings to grow, to get energy, to keep ourselves healthy and fit to repair old and worn out tissues and to fight against diseases. There are seven components of food. These are carbohydrates, vitamins, proteins, fats, minerals, water and roughage. Although water and roughage are not considered as the main components but still these play an important role in our diet and all these are also known as nutrients so we can say that there are seven nutrients in the food items our food items are majorly divided into three food groups number one energy giving food which includes carbohydrates and fats means all those food which are rich in carbohydrates and fats they give us energy number two is body building foods that it includes protein protein helps to build our body now uh, the food items which include uh, in this group uh, we can say that pulses dals and uh, wow. matar, rajma, chana, soya bean, all these are very rich in protein. Egg, milk also you can include in this group. Number three is protective foods which protects your body. That is all those food items which are rich in vitamins and minerals like fruits and vegetables, they all come in this group. Now, our first heading is mode of nutrition in plants. First, you should know what is the meaning of nutrition. Actually, nutrition is the mode of the mode of taking food by an organism by an organism and its utilization by the body. This is the definition of nutrition. Actually all living organisms need food whether they are plants or animals. Plants can make their own food but animals including human beings cannot make their own food. The mode of nutrition in which organisms make food themselves is known as autotrophic nutrition. It means all plants are autotrophs and all animals and other organisms which take in ready-made food prepared by the plants or uh, they depend on other animals as, uh, for the food they are known as heterotrophs. So there are two types of autotrophs and heterotrophs. Auto means which make their own food and heterotrophs which depend on others for their food. Now the subheading is photosynthesis. Photo As I already told you that uh, only green plants can make their own food. You know the reason why? Green plants can make their own food with the help of sunlight because they have chlorophyll in them. What is chlorophyll? 
Chlorophyll is a green colored pigment which is present in the leaves which traps sunlight to make food in the presence of carbon dioxide and water. Now if you break this word photosynthesis you will get two words photo and synthesis. Photo means light and synthesis means to combine or to prepare. So you can easily get the meaning that the preparation or production of food in the presence of sunlight with the help of carbon dioxide and water. Now you can write this in the word equation as carbon dioxide plus water in the presence of chlorophyll and sunlight it makes glucose and oxygen and in the chemical equation we can write the chemical formula of carbon dioxide is CO2 plus the chemical formula of water is H2O in the presence of chlorophyll and sunlight it makes glucose. Glucose, the chemical formula of glucose is C6, H12, O6 plus oxygen. Oxygen is the byproduct means it is not used up by the plants. So it releases during this process and to balance this equation we put six more when six molecules of carbon dioxide add with six molecules of water in the presence of chlorophyll and sunlight it gives one molecule of glucose and six molecules of oxygen. So it is clear from the equation that this process is equally important for both plants as well as animals. Because by this process plants get food and animals get oxygen as well as food prepared by the plants. Plants are the only organisms that can make their own food by, by using water, carbon dioxide, minerals, sunlight and chlorophyll. And all these raw materials are present in the surroundings like uh, 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 soil through soil they get water and minerals carbon dioxide is present in the atmosphere and sunlight it is also present in the atmosphere now a question arises that where the food factories of plants are located Yes, the right answer is leaves are the food factories of the plants. Besides leaves, photosynthesis can also take place in other green parts of the plant. Like in uh, green branches, in green stems, for example cactus. In cactus, leaves are modified into spines. Why? In order to reduce the loss of water from the body, that is transpiration. So in order to reduce the rate of transpiration, water uh, leaves are modified into spines because they grow in desert areas where the scarcity of water is there. So the green branches, yeah, the green stems of the cactus, the green stems of the cactus help to make the food. That is green stems do the process of photosynthesis in cactus. Exchange of gases. That means give, taking in carbon dioxide and giving out oxygen from the leaves takes place through stomata. Stomata are the small openings which are present on the surface of leaves and through these uh, openings exchange of gases takes place in a plant. Now one question is for you. Can you imagine life on earth without the process of photosynthesis? If your answer is yes, then why it is there and if it is no, then too you have to write the reason. Okay, uh, 
why the pros why we cannot imagine life on earth in the absence of photosynthesis this is your question and now you write the answer we'll discuss it i have given a question to all of you that can you imagine life on earth without the process of photosynthesis the correct answer is no we cannot imagine life on earth without the process of photosynthesis because if there is no photosynthesis there would not be any food on this earth and all living beings require food to survive they depend on plants directly or indirectly so this is the answer that we cannot imagine life on earth without the process of photosynthesis and by the process of photosynthesis only we get oxygen also so without oxygen and food no living organism can survive okay now you must have seen the leaves of a uh, different colors like red or purple so all the, uh, you uh, you have a thought that they do not have chlorophyll so how do they survive but they have chlorophyll actually the colored pigments just mask or cover the green portion of the leaf so they can also do the process of photosynthesis and such colored leaves are called variegated leaves spellings are v a r i e g a t e d variegated leaves so these are variegated leaves matlab colored leaves which mask or cover the green part of the leaf so photosynthesis takes place in these leaves too beside variegated leaves algae can also do the process of photosynthesis algae can also do the process of photosynthesis why because they have chlorophyll in them you you must have seen algae in ponds or some stagnant water bodies they are green in color and are slimy in touch slimy in sticky sticky in touch and you can see the growth of algae in your nearby ponds or in some stagnant water bodies they they grow in that only so they can also do the process of photosynthesis now the next heading is synthesis of plant food other than carbohydrates as you already know that carbohydrates are produced by the process of photosynthesis carbohydrates are made up of carbon hydrogen and oxygen these are also used to synthesize other nutrients like proteins and fats means the same things like carbon hydrogen and oxygen are used to synthesize proteins and fats also but proteins are nitrogenous products proteins are nitrogenous products it means which uh, they contain nitrogen so one question is from where do from where do the plants get nitrogen 
actually nitrogen is present in the atmosphere in abundance you all know 78% of nitrogen is present in the atmosphere but this nitrogen cannot be taken up by the plants directly actually some bacteria are present in the soil which convert this atmospheric nitrogen into simpler substances like nitrates which is absorbed by the plants and used to produce the proteins so in this way they convert atmospheric these bacteria convert atmospheric nitrogen into the soluble form and are absorbed by the plants in addition farmers also add fertilizers which are rich in nitrogen potassium or in all that nutrients so these add up the amount of nitrogen in the soil which is taken up by the plants and make the protein so there are two ways to add nitrogen like one is by the atmospheric nitrogen which which is converted by the bacteria present in the soil and the other is in the form of fertilizers so today we studied about some variegated leaves how do they prepare their food how alga produce their food mm -hmm. and why and then synthesis of plant food other than carbohydrates that is proteins and how does plant utilize protein uh, utilize nitrogen to produce protein so children make notes on these topics and let's wait for next session if you have any doubt or query regarding these topics you may surely write your questions in the comment box and your queries will be answered definitely